Hey, I'm going to log my creation of these samples that I make, and I'm going to make a sample that demonstrates painting or drawing to a bitmap, and then assigning the bitmap to a picture box control. So I'm going to call this gr or bitmap graphics. Now, I do believe that painting to a bitmap is best practice in opposed to painting directly to the paint or the picture box. Um, painting to a bitmap can reduce things like flickers and uh, buffer time or whatever and uh, it adds a lot of flexibility. So I'm going to change the form to a fixed tool window, change the main form class name to main form .cs. It's the habit I have. Alright, and then the text of the form should be uh, bitmap graphics. And I'm just going to put a picture box in there. And a button. I'm going to call the button um, paint. And we're going to go paint bullseye. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a bullseye, a high resolution image, and display it in this picture box. So I think it's best if we change the picture box size mode to zoom because the image is going to be a higher resolution and perfectly square than the picture box. And it, well, sorry, the picture box isn't going to be perfectly square and it's going to be smaller. So, button paint, we're going to create first a bitmap for a drawing surface. I'm going to call it drawing surface. Equals new bitmap. It's going to be, I'm going to use the width and height overload where you specify the width and height. I'm going to have a 1000 by 1000 uh, pixel bitmap. And I'm also going to create a graphics object called GFX. And I'm going to use a static method from the graphics class that allows me to create a graphics object from an image. And here we are going to specify the image drawing surface. Okay, and I think it's uh, sorry. It is time to draw the bullseye in there. I'm going to start off with a red circle for the outer ring. So gfx dot draw or sorry fill rectangle. Um, brush. We're going to use a enumeration, I believe. A preset brush that is red. A red brush and I'm not going to use this overload one, we're going to use the integers so zero zero for x and y position and the size is going to be 100 so it's going to have the diameter of 100 sorry it's going to have the diameter of 1000 and I'm going to leave that be for now and I'm going to assign the image that we just drew to to the picture box image property bitmap sorry drawing surface let's see if it wor uh, looks good okay so I drew a rectangle we don't want to do that we want to draw an ellipse I obviously didn't spell ellipse right, so I'm just going to take a look at the fill ellipse. Alright, sorry about that. Let's try this again. Okay, that's good. There's our outermost circle. I'm gonna I'm gonna just copy this a bunch of times. Good. We'll change this.
color to white. We're going to change every second circle to white. And we're going to increase the position by 100, I think that should do. 100. And decrease the, the um, sizes by 200 to counteract that and center the circles in e within each other. So 200, 200, 600, 600, 300, 300, 400, 400, 400, 400, and then 200, 200. And I don't think we need the last line. So let's take a look at that. Perfect. That is good. Uh, I think I don't need to do anything more. I can, I'm going to make an icon for this, probably. And I'm going to change the assembly information to a sample uh, bitmap graphics. And put my team name in there, or company name. Opus, and I always change the manifest to create application without manifest. I'm going to save it, uh, build the release, and I think that's good.